these tomatoes, whereabouts do you... These, are, these look like uh, the Brandy uh, heirloom tomatoes. Uh, these are going to be Mr. Limley's tomatoes, this yellow one. The Limley tomato? Okay. He has uh, yellow ones and red. And just to cut it for presentation purposes, I'm cutting it in a square. So Scott is not going to salt these until they... Right before we put the, the spears uh, down on the, on the tomatoes. So we'll be set up and ready to go when uh, Mark is ready. <laughs> so Mark here is going to make us... Oh, I'm going to do the uh, basil oil powder. Uh, this is using uh, tapioca maltodextrin. It is a starch derived from tapioca. And it's actually a very simple process. What I have here is some basil oil, which is just a grapeseed oil infused with the herb basil and a little bit of parsley to help add the green color. And what we're going to do is we're going to take approximately a cup of this maltodextrin and we're going to drop that into our rubble coop here. Then we stick the lid on. Okay, we're going to go ahead and flip this on and then start slowly drizzling in a little bit of the basil oil and this will help to start uh, absorbing all of the fat in the oil and what it's going to do is it's going to pretty much turn this powder bright green it's going to keep all the flavor from the basil oil and turn it into a powderized form tapioca maltodextrin has very little flavor to it um, it only adds just a touch of sweetness to the product so as you can see, it's, it's less powdery. It's starting to turn a lot more green. And then we're just gonna take this and stir it up a little bit. I'm just gonna mix this up and make sure that it's all well incorporated. And then we're gonna flip a rubble coop back on for a little longer. And the way that we actually get such a good color out of the herbs is uh, we take them and we blanch them off first. And what that does is uh, it, they get dropped in a, a water, a bath of uh, boiling salted water, and then from there they're dropped into an ice bath, and that takes them and uh, shocks them and helps to start uh, releasing the chlorophyll. And then from there we take them and chop them up and rinse out all of the water. It's blended up with uh, a little bit of the grapeseed oil, and that helps to, to suck out all of the chlorophyll so you get that nice bright green color and it still keeps the integrity of the flavors intact. I wondered how you kept the green so vivid. Paul's mozzarella. Um, we combine that with some cream and a little bit of milk. And we're gonna add um, the calcium lactate to the cheese and the, and the dairy. And then we're going to have that in the sodium alginate bath. This is the reverse purification. Yeah. Right? Good. Mark will show you. Okay. So what I'm going to show you guys right now is just a technique called uh, reverse purification. Uh, the way it works is you have a substance called sodium alginate, which is uh, derived from algae. And when it comes in contact with a calcium-rich substance, it forms a gel-like substance very similar to uh, gelatin that you find uh, in your, you know, in your jello, uh, probably made. Um, so what we do here first is I have one liter of water that I'm going to combine with five grams of the sodium alginate. The average ratio for this is about 0.5 to 1% of the total volume. So we're going to do 5 grams into 1 liter of water. And we're going to start the water right here in a blender. And you want to get it on a decent speed to where it's moving. And then you just 
slowly drop in the alginate. And this forms the first part of what you need to do a spherification. So from here we're just going to let this get fully incorporated. And then we're going to dump this right here into a little container and this will be our alginate bath. Next, uh, the next part of our spherification uh, requires the actual substance that we're going to be eating. In this case, uh, for the reverse spherification, we're going to have a sort of mozzarella curd that's going to be in a liquid form that we're going to be able to pick up with a spoon here in just a few moments. So what I have here is 250 grams of uh, Paulus mozzarella from the Dallas Mozzarella Company. I have 100 grams of heavy cream and 100 grams of milk combined together. And then I have two and a half grams of sodium lactate combined with a pinch of salt and a pinch of sugar. So what I'm going to do here in the RoboCoop is start with the milk and the cream. I'm going to go ahead and just turn that on a low speed. I'm going to slowly add the calcium lactate. And what this technically does to it is, although this is already a, a calcium-rich substance, this is just going to help to bulk up the amount of calcium. Uh, calcium lactate is 9% calcium by volume, so it's just to kind of give it that extra little kick to help it uh, form the gel. Then we're just going to slowly combine this with our mozzarella. Let's turn it up just a little higher. Now, if Paula Lambert could see what was happening to her <laughs> mozzarella now, I think most of you might stop supplying it. <laughs> you might not enjoy this too much. This is to take our curd, which is ready with the calcium lactate, and add it to uh, the sodium alginate bath. What I'm going to do is just pour it very slowly so it all stays together in a nice little ball. And so the sodium alginate is going to see the calcium in the curd and it's going to form a membrane around the edge. Yes, sir. So these, these start their life as dollops, but grow into spheres. There's a very small window of time to sort of reshape these to get them how you'd like them. Yeah. And what you want to do at first is just kind of wash some of the uh, sodium alginate bath over the top so that way it seals all the way around. It'd be nice if you had a little tool where you, you could put the, put the mixture and then hold it underneath like a... You know, it actually adhere, starts adhering to the, to the, the metal or the wood because they, okay. it starts sticking. Well, I won't try. We've tried it, trust me. <laughs> Try, try everything, right? Yeah, I'm sure you have. So these take about two to three minutes to set up, and this really just gives it time to form a stable gel around the outside so that they can be transported. And what I have here next to it is just a little water bath, and what you want to do is just rinse these off. And what that does is it not only stops the gelling process, but it also rinses off just any of the excess uh, chemical that's on the outside. Um, all of this is perfectly edible. It's not harmful at all. So now we're plating up. I'm getting in the way here with the camera, but uh, you see Scott is getting these mozzarella balls. Putting them on top of the salad. Cross the top. We have our tomato mozzarella salad with basil oil powder and mozzarella spheres. Great. I wouldn't have any hesitation eating that, Scott. Thank, Thank you. you.